Our ground up approach to building our own ethanol sensor means that we can improve on it in every way. I believe we've done just that right here with our new eSense. So we have what everyone's really familiar with, uh, the Continental or GM uh, ethanol content sensor. So this is what everyone's been using for years. One of the big issues with these sensors is flow that people have been trying to solve. You're trying to flow all your fuel through that tiny hole. That is one of the biggest issues to solve. The industry's current solution is, I call this a sensor bypass. There's a couple different ways people describe them. You take the same sensor, the same old sensor that's restrictive and can have reliability issues, and you put fittings on it and you allow the fuel uh, to flow through the sensor and around it. You know, at the inlet and the outlet, the fuel will flow straight through that and it has a little port to go through the sensor, you know, to make it a little possibly less restrictive, but you're still having to you know, you're only getting partial fuel through the sensor. Instead of like in a bypass where you're only getting part of your fuel through and you're still using the old electronics and the old way of measuring fuel, we just took a blank sheet approach and completely developed our own sensor from the ground up, not using any components um, of the Continental or GM sensor. And here we have the future. And what we wanted to display here, obviously, is our sensor here. We have a bypass. Here currently, as you can see, we have our sensor here. So you have this whole unit and you have to add fitting. And the same token, our sensor also has interchangeable fittings. And you can see the difference in the size there. This is literally five inches smaller and you can add um, all of the same uh, types of fittings and adapters right to this and with much less space. Uh, one of the other really great things about this is, so as you can see with this, the fuel flows through the GM sensor and there's another port that it will flow through. It, it flows through the sensor and another port. As you can see with ours, the fuel flows completely through the sensor and there is a whole lot more room for the fuel to flow through without any, any turns, any type of turbulence or restrictions. We're solving the flow issue and the electronics issue in one shot. Another thing we've done already is uh, we already have hard that adapt directly to um, the old style connector from the Continental. So you don't need to wire anything. If you are already using one of these and you had an issue or you're looking to upgrade your fuel flow, you will literally just be able to plug this right in place of what you have. Um, the output on the digital channel is exactly the same. So you won't have to reprogram your ECU or retune your vehicle in any way. Obviously, if you're doing a fresh setup, you will have to tune your vehicle for that as you would have using the GM or Continental sensor. Another thing we've accomplished, um, we have every type of fitting you're gonna need available. From your small eight millimeter or five sixteenths, uh, male and female sizes, uh, common on BMWs and Subarus and a lot of vehicles. These are the smaller uh, type of fuel uh, quick connect fittings. The configuration so that you can put the female on one side and the male on the other. And when you do this configuration, it adds a little over an inch to your line. So you disconnect it, you can plug this right into the female side and that right onto your rail or your hard line on the body side. Uh, and a lot of times you'll be able to use the same line um, without having to completely rerun lines for the vehicle. Very easy installation, obviously no restriction. As you can see from our flow here, this is the size of the Hellcat's fuel line. It fits literally inside. So the sensor is not restricting that in any way, shape or form. The next thing we have here is ORB. With ORB, that allows you to run anything from a uh, dash six dash eight dash ten an um, off of this block, or even the ORB uh, direct to ORB for mounting on. Uh, directly to a fuel rail or a pressure regulator uh, and run your line up to the other side and, and you're done. Um, so that hard mounted option is available. Uh, we also have, it's a it's a very specific fitting we had to make so it flows correctly, um, dash 12 that mounts right on this. So if you're running a big boy dash 12 fuel line, you'll be able to screw that fuel line right onto um, our sensor uh, and flow that dash 12 without any uh, restrictions at all. <laughs>